Hello, welcome back to another video of Just For Queer. I hope you're all doing well, all keeping safe, all out of trouble. Uh, today's not a sunny day, not such a sunny day. Um, I think it's gonna be raining around five o'clock, to be honest with you. Um, the temperature out here is showing 21 outside in the filter house is showing 23.7 and the water in the pond is showing 19. Um, I won't mention what the TBS is because some people have asked me to put tape around it before showing the Blue Lab Guardian so we'll just leave that part out. Um, what I'm going to be showing you guys today auto feeder um, to feed the koi for me to be more consistent with the feeding um, not here all the time to be feeding them the amount that I want and to keep it as consistent as I want so I've been looking online at all sorts of different um, koi feeders uh, auto feeders um, watched a few YouTubes YouTube channels that have been showing the auto feeders and um, I've basically decided to go for this specific one that I found. I think it's new on the market. I've not really seen it anywhere so I'll show you guys that um, and I've also changed the food over to the quay. Um, I was giving them JPD all season, which I had 10 kg of, and that pretty much finished about two weeks ago or so, or give or take around two weeks, and I've switched it over to a couple of different types of sake food, um, which I'll show you guys those as well. Okay. We're in the filter house. I've had to come in here because it's absolutely pouring out down with rain. And before I show you what I've moved the fish onto, I'll just show you what I had them on for uh, around nine months or so. And they were on JPD all season, Shogun. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are familiar with this brand. And also this, um, this these pellets. Uh, they're all, they're all, you can use these all year round. So pretty much as it says they're all season uh, they're low in protein um, they're medium sized pellets uh, they're floating pellets and if you look on the back here which it shows you there all the protein and the fat in here so it's on 36 so it's pretty low so it's easy for the koi to digest in colder seasons so that's what they were on and I've moved them, well, I'm going to be moving on to moving them on to these two. But what they've been on for the last two weeks is Saki R Balance. And this comes in a 15 kg bag. My dog, my Sharpe, decided to help himself into the bag. So he's actually ripped the bag up for me. And I think he's helped himself to about a kilo or so. So I'm not quite sure what he's done in there. But... It is what it is, so can't really move the bag around and show you the labels and the um, protein on here. And it shows you here that you can feed this from 18 Celsius above, which is 64 Fahrenheit. Um, and they're five mil pellets, I believe. Like so, the fish absolutely love them. They're smashing it up, so can't complain. Um, what this basically does, it's good to introduce to the koi if you're moving them around if you just transport it if you've got ill sick koi in the pond this will basically help recover and build up their immune system and hopefully a quicker recovery as well so that's that and uh, this is around i think 180 190 pounds for a 15 kg bag um like i've said this, they've been on this for around two weeks uh, this arrived today and I'm going to be introducing growth pellets to them um, which I believe these are high in protein and also 
um, at the back over here. These are color enhancer pellets, medium size. They're both five kg um, bags. I think they were around 80, 90 pounds for each bag. Um, you can feed them to koi from around up to 20 centimeters in growth, which is eight, eight inches and they're five mil pellets. So, and at the back, it will show you if I can find it because I can't read Japanese. Um, yeah, so again, this one, you can feed the, this to the koi over 18 Celsius, 64 Fahrenheit. And the protein on here, which is right over here, if you guys can see, it's 43 in protein and all the oils and fiber, everything there. So if you guys want to freeze the screen and check it out, uh, you can do that. And coming to the back of the growth, again, the same, just lift this up, again, same uh, protein it's at 43 and all the oils and fibers and whatnot it's all showing there so again if you want to freeze the screen and check it all out and read it up and do what you like to do so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna be mixing these up mixing the growth up with the color enhancer mixing them both up in one bucket Give them a good old mix and i've been feeding the koi around 300 to 350 grams per day i'm going to be putting in the um the growth and the color enhancer into the uh auto feeder sorry do apologize i'm going to be putting the r balance non-mix straight into the um auto feeder so they're constantly getting fed our balanced food and i'll possibly set that on around 200 grams per day once we unbox this and i'll work it out what the um how many grams it gives out on the settings to of the volume of the food it drops out so the our balance will be going into there and then i'll be hand feeding possibly around 100 to 150 grams of the growth and also the color enhancer. So the fish won't be getting used to just from the auto feeder and they start not coming up to hand feed. I still wanna introduce them with, my ha with hand feeding so they don't get all spooked out and they don't start turning all shy and getting used to and depending just on the auto feeder. Um, I do give them every now and then some of these water shrimps literally every every now and then um, possibly once a month if I can remember um, they're very very high in protein and I also give them um, some silkworms which you can see the tub is pretty much full I don't really spoil them much with this um, but the koi do love all this stuff as well they do hammer it so they're the foods that um, I'm gonna be giving this is what I've switched over to so I'll get all this mixed up and then we can unbox this auto feeder set it up and see how it goes okay so this is the koi feeder that I'm gonna be installing around the pond pretty much looks like um, a safe so it's like a safe for the pellets basically um, so what we've we got here it's got a digital control screen uh, maximum capacity to put in the food is 25 liters and you can put up to nine millimeters of pellets into there and it's an outdoor pond feeder so above you so it shows that you've got settings of half a meter to a meter where it will throw the distance of the um, pellets you've got a two-year guarantee with it and it's a jbl pro auto feeder jbl is a pretty good brand 
um, in the queen industry. So this was priced at £300 and I purchased this from Pond Planet and when you make a first purchase from them um, you get a 5% discount so it's not cheap it's, there's much more cheaper quay feeders out there um, you can pick one up for 40, 50, 60 quid um, but I'm happy with it it looks really nice and solid um, I've, like I mentioned I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube and some of the quay feeders um, they don't seem to be as built um, a sturdy seem a little bit flimsy and too much fiddling with what to do and how to set it um, this one seems pretty straightforward um, it's also got a solar panel on there so it will work um, without getting connected um, plugged in sorry um, it also has got a plug in for the mains so if the solar panel hasn't charged up fully enough um, it will still feed the um, feed the quay so let's get this unboxed and just like as everyone always says boxes always look nice and pretty let's see if I can find my scissors which are right over here so let's cut this so it's packed away really nice first thing I've got here, I don't know what these are, Some these are the legs I believe, anyway we'll have to work it all out once we get it all out, and it's packed away really nicely so no damage can happen to it, let's just pull it out, okay, and there's nothing else in the box, so I'll just put this aside, so we'll just take this off, take this out, sorry. So you've got your instructions or manuals. Yep, so pretty much we'll show you how to set it all up. So it comes like a map, the instructions. So it's not a booklet. Anyway, so let's get this out. It feels really nice and solid, which I like. So we'll pop this over here. Okay, so we've got the screen here. Um, this must be the button over here. It shows you one and a half meters, sorry, half a meter and a meter. So you just set that to how far you want the distance of the pellets to be thrown away. On button, um, you've got the volume button. I'm not sure what that fishy button is. You've got the volume button. So I'd imagine that's the amount of feed that will get distributed on each feed that's been set. Um, setting the hour, the minute, and obviously setting it all up. So pop you guys back down. I'm gonna need to get myself a cameraman soon. Anyway. So let's just see how this opens. Okay. Oh, it's really nice and solid to, to be honest with you. It's not flimsy at all. It's got like a clipping kind of system so you can actually leave the lid half open like so. So it's not going to fall down on you. So around there obviously will but once you put it up it will actually stay in place. So that's that and inside there it's got like a propeller where it seems to throw all the um, food out. I'm not sure if you guys can see in there. Okay, so what I'll do, um, I've already mixed the food up, which is right over here. And this is the Saki color enhancer and also the growth. So I've mixed all the pellets up, five kg of each and the darker pellets are the color enhancer pellets and the lighter pellets are the growth pellets so as you saw they're high in protein 43 and i've also emptied out the saki 
our balance into this tub so the doggy can't get to them now and I've managed to get to the back of the packaging and this is what he's showing so he's slightly high in protein as well he's showing around 40 so this is slightly lower than the color enhancer and the growth so it'd be a good idea to actually put this into the um, auto feeder and there's the name of it Saki Kari R so what I'll do now I'll take this outside get it all set up and then we'll take it all from there I'm thinking of placing the auto feeder right over here so we've got the chute literally looking over the pond um, we're going to do a little test anyway to make sure everything's working all fine and when you open the inside of the auto feeder you've got a little compartment here with a lid which is just a little storage box and inside there you've got your adapter to connect it up to plug it up and get it all charged up and it's also got this probe sensor here which will basically tell you the temperature of the water and right over here is where you get them plugged in so the DC12V uh, which is the adapter that goes into the plug goes over into there and the sensor goes right into here and you've got a little slit right over there so the wires can come through so it don't get all um, squashed up when you shut the lid down so I'll get the sensor on and get it all plugged up get the food in there okay I've filled up the um, auto feeder I've plugged the sensors in there right over here as you can see there and there filled it up right to the top and the lid shuts nice and perfect so no issues there um, just before I start setting up the settings um, if you guys remember I took these brackets out um, from the box when we first unpackaged it and what these are right at the bottom of the feet on the, all four ends there are these bolts and basically you bolt one one end of this, the hole through this plate here and the other side onto like your slab so it obviously doesn't get knocked over into the pond so I'll do that some other time I'll leave that alone for now hopefully the doggies won't knock it in there so coming to the lid I've already plugged it in as well so it can start getting all charged up and the sensors in there as well and what the sensors done is sunk right to the bottom of the pond so you're getting a read of the temperature right at the deep end of your pond which I think is a good thing and quite important because the temperature of the deeper end is different to the um, top of the pond it seems like this is flashing on my screen but there's no flashing going on I'm not sure why that's happening on my screen so we've put it on and we'll set it to the um, time and what you need to do you're gonna hold down set and then you're gonna get a little clock button flashing right over here and that's to set the pres present time and the time now is 24 minutes past three and it's a 24 hour clock so let's press set again it's a 24 hour clock so we'll put it on to three o'clock 324 and then you've got your minute buttons here as well 24 press set and that's set the accurate time and it's straight away sent you to first feed and there's 24 feeds on this so you can literally feed the koi every hour if you like and then um, you've got your you've got your volume button right over here which will show you the amount that it would send out to the koi to get fed and I think every bar 
give or take gives around 15 to 20 grams um, per feed per bar sorry and we've got two four six eight ten bars there so we're going to do a measure up anyway once we get it all set so first feed is going to be at eight o'clock and you'll just set it to the um, correct time and then we'll set the bars so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna feed the koi every hour so what we'll do we'll set the time from one o'clock in the morning one bar and that will move straight away to the next feed B2 and then we'll do two o'clock and so on and then you can obviously increase the levels of your bar and just press set and it will straight away go on to your next feed you can zero this as well if you'd like like so and that is going to be no feed so you can miss a um, a feed and you can play about with it and however you want to have it set so it doesn't have to give all 24 feeds out you just zero the clock set it to those feeds and if you like you can feed every hour or every two hours or every half an hour however you want to set it but there's 24 feeds on there which is absolutely good and then you've got these little sensors here and what these basically do they'll just indicate to you when the koi feed when the feeder is running low on pellets so just let you know when to top it up and like i've shown inside it's got this little button here which is a half a meter and a meter of distance of throwing the pellets out and it's also solar powered and it's got the little battery sensor right there which is fully charged and the sun's come back up and now showing you that the solar um solar panel is actually charging up the feeder and then you've got this other little fishy button here um, which is manual feed so you just basically press this and it will manual feed I won't use it just now I'll set the whole thing up and show you guys a manual feed and it working automatically by itself it's all set up all good to go I've basically set it onto one volume for every feed and I've set it basically to start feeding from 8 in the morning till 12 o'clock at night every hour and because of this current time it's showing you that the ninth feed is due so it will pop there exactly how many feeds it will feed in total per day and what we'll do um, the feed's going to come on in around 12 minutes so I'll just quickly show you guys the manual feed and when we get to the right time um, I'll pop it back on the screen and then we can see the auto feeder work automatically okay so let's just give this button a press Yeah. And here they come. So it hasn't thrown any of the pellets outside. It's given a nice even throw. It's gone all the way to the back over there as well. All over here. I've actually brought it back down to that was at half a meter distance. So could go more. Um, that seemed to be fine. Um, so we'll leave it at that for now and I'll be back at four o'clock and hopefully the feeder will start feeding all by itself. Okay, I think the feeders are about to go off now. So I've got my bucket here, it's not pretty small. So let's just see what's gonna happen. I have set it on to four o'clock to feed one volume. They don't seem to be working. Yeah. 
here we go. Let's just put the bucket here. And they're going absolutely everywhere. Okay, a few little pellets went out here and there. But that's pretty much one volume. So it's not a lot. Let's just grab the scales and weigh it up. Okay, I've got the scales. Pop them right over here. Put this little tub on there. Get all this in there. Oops, ain't gonna show us what it weighs unless we switch it on. That's Betty sucking away, by the way. So let's just get all this in. Okay, showing just over 18 grams. So a couple of pellets went out. So give or take, possibly was around 19 to 20 grams on each volume. That's what the koi will be getting fed every hour. Um, around 15 to 20 grams from the auto feeder. And like I've shown yourselves, the mixed pellets, the color enhancer and the um, growth, I've just popped them all into the one big tub now. So Chacha can't get to them. And they're gonna be getting hand fed that. So they'll be getting 150 grams of the growth and the color enhancer and give or take around 250 grams um, of the Saki R balance. So that's all set now. Uh, the auto feed is all programmed in. So they're gonna be getting fed every hour, keeping the feeding more consistent for them. So hopefully they'll be packing on a little bit more size and get a bit more growth out of them. Um, the weather's constantly changing. Uh, last week it was very, really nice and warm. I think the highest temps I had in the water was around 24, 20, sorry, 23, 24 Celsius. And all this week it's been running at nine to 18 to 19. So not a huge drop. It'd be nicer to keep the temps up. But as you guys know, pond's not heated yet. Other than that, all come to an end now. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please remember to subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs down. Either thumbs, I'm happy to collect them. Uh, remember to hit the bell button so you can get notified of all the future new videos that I upload. Having said that, all take care and all the best.